Hello friends, my name is Ajay and I will teach you how to use Visual Composer on pages and posts. First of all, I am adding a new page called Home Page. Then use Backend Editor. Click on Backend Editor option. Go down and add a new element. I am adding a heading so searching for heading separate with that and custom heading so I am selecting separate with the text here is title called home page and if you want to add a icon click on yes and then see click on icon over here then search over here like Facebook anything like you want so I will click on this and uh, here's the background shape round is square circle outline circle so I click on circle and uh, here's the la color and size medium large extra shape I am going to save this after this here's the border option so I am here to save this changes and uh, update published click on view page and see what happens look here is the heading with icon and here is the line horizontal line and uh, after that I'm going to add a new element called FAQ option FAQ click here put tag link toggle title Okay, so I'm going to get some text search over here. So let's search WordPress and uh, click on over here. I will take that one line and uh, over use it. And here's the text to hide and show, like hide and show. So getting started. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, more press about. Here's the some text. So I'm using this. It. and I am using that text over here and uh, save and uh, update now let's refresh this page yes. this is heading and after clicking on this heading you can see the text this is the text if you customize this heading you can go here and uh, click it edit here's the edit this is the edit button and uh, I will use the custom font so I will click over here and uh, this is heading 2 this is heading 2 and uh, text alignment font size and text color if you want to change that color in different color black to red or something extra so I'm going to select that one color uh, 
this one and save changes and also if you want to change font I am select Roboto and uh, click on save and also if you need to go for theme font then click on this option I am not going for theme of for theme font and then I am going to save and update the page will be updated and I will refresh this page as the font will be converted into Roboto and also the color is changed to green and uh, there's the harden collapse option and uh, also if you want to remove this option this plus button have four plus minus so I'm going to update this option again I'm going to style text only and if you need uh, if you want to go for icon for this this is the default color of this icon and if you want to remove uh, change icon color you can go and choose anyone from this and here's the size option large small and uh, this is the default state uh, close and open and animation also and uh, this is the element id we don't forget about it and uh, I'm going for the style this is called style also so this option I'm going to select default and uh, sorry text only so now I'm going to save this option and update and now I'm refresh this page here the plus and minus option has been removed this looks pretty good and I'm going to add some text also this is the heading and I'm going to add text so text block here click on text block and uh, I will go for again get in our get some text click on it let's select that this text and I am going to paste it over here and save changes update and now I will refresh this page here you can see this is the hide and show option collapse uh, heading and uh, this is text block over here and uh, if you want to go for adding a new FAQ option or collapse heading so search again FAQ <coughs> and uh, I'm going to add this heading connect with community community and uh, here an addition here's the text and I'm going to save and uh, I'm going to for 
style and they say and now update now I will refresh this page because uh, the page will be updated and now refresh this here is it looks nice and uh, if I need to change the color black to something new something different then I will I'm going to choose this option custom font option and text color over here and now I'm going to select low and save and update and I will refresh this page the color will be changes changed and after that I'm going to tell you how to use this page and this uh, visual composer and post so if you need to go to check out this page as live Control shift new and paste it and say here is it this is the live page click here and see it there is it now I'm going to tell you how to post in a pages write in a post so changing some settings on visual composers go and click settings role manager click on custom this is the default page uh, post page post type pages default is pages only but I am going to tell you how to post in a how to use this visual composer and post so I'm going to click on custom and then save post and pages then save changes and now I am going to use this digital composer and a post. Click new. Click on backend editor. Click on add element. I am going to first add a heading. this is a custom heading before I, I was using uh, normal text heading so if you want to get link URL link then select here and I am going to use custom heading this is the custom heading element and uh, I'm going to a little history click on little history a little history about wordpress and uh, paste it over here and say published going to view this post select on here is it is a uh, heading and uh, also I am going to tell you how to collide 
this is the heading option so features let's click on features our verb of wordpress so this is the i will get this heading text i'm using this text text as a heading and uh, this is my hidden and show text now I'm going to go for style and say click on text only and save then update this page has been updated and now I am refresh this page here is it you can't see nothing you can't see. but after clicking on this heading you can see here what's hidden text now I'm going to tell you how to change this option this color of the heading use custom click on a heading and click on test color and save here is it I pick the color and save and update Now I will refresh this page because this page has been updated and uh, here you go the color has been changed so this is a very simple now that's it and thank you for watching